I'm joined now by the number four ranked Bellator lightweight, Miles Jury, who is fighting next week, uh, facing Sydney Outlaw on the Bellator prelims of Bellator 261. Miles, how are you doing today? Doing good, man. Doing good. Good deal. Um, you know, 2019 and 2018 were sort of rough years. You were on a three-fight losing streak. Um, you came back in 2020 with a vengeance, picking up two consecutive wins. Um, is there anything in particular that you can attribute um, to those, uh, to getting back on the right track next, last year? Uh, I would just say, man, just just doubling down, believing in myself, going back, getting, staying hungry, getting better, and uh, j just continue pushing on. You know, adver adversity comes in a lot of different ways, especially in this game. So uh, even though I'm down a couple, it don't mean nothing. All right, there you go. Um, and you're facing Sydney Outlaw, like I mentioned. Um, what are your initial thoughts on him? Um, and, um, yeah, how do you see this fight going? Uh, I feel like Sydney's another good competitor, man. You know, that's what I want. I want. Uh, I need a dance partner in there. So I feel like he, he's a good competitor. And, you know, I, I just got to go through him, though. I mean, this is take what's mine, my fight, my time. I put the work in. I'm coming in well prepared. So, uh I'm ready to rock, man. I think it's going to be a great night for me. He's a well-accomplished grappler. Do you see uh, this fight going to the ground, or do you are you going to try to keep it standing most of the time, or um, how do you see sort of the more technical side of it going? Yeah, he, he definitely, I, I think, is most comfortable on the ground. I think he can strike. You know, he's, he's good all around, uh, but he definitely likes his ground. For me, I feel I feel good everywhere. I feel like I'm better everywhere. And whether it's on the feet, on the ground, uh, I'm just going to look, look to take advantage of it, man. Uh, again, it's it's my time, and I, I'm i going to go out there and take it. I mean, that, that's what it comes down to. It's who wants it more, in my opinion. And I want it more. I'm, I'm willing to go that distance, three hard rounds. I'm ready for it. So come, come fight time, man. I think it's going to be a good fight. And I think I'm going to be, at the end of the night, my hand's going to be raised. Looking forward to it. Um... I know you train at Alliance MMA with some of the best uh, fighters around, like Brendan Lochnane, uh, Dominic Cruz, Jeremy Stevens. Um, sort of tell me about how training with some of those fighters that are just so good in uh, their various organizations, how they sort of help you prepare for this fight and just help you become a better fighter in general. Yeah, I love it, man. I, I love my team. You know, I enjoy going to the gym training with those guys day in and day out Guy, guys and girls you know my, my coaches we have a very tight relationship and if it wasn't for them man it, it, I don't know if I'd be where I'm at I don't know if I'd still even be fighting you know because they 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 motivate me they uh you know they it, it, without them I wouldn't be where I'm at so uh I I enjoy it you know I'm, I'm blessed to wake up every day go go to the gym hang out with them train with them you know sweat bleed with them and uh, not only that, but, you know, we get to go out there like warriors and, and put it on the line. So, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to be any other place. Um, it's coming up on about 10 years since you first competed on Tough 15. Um, you were a young kid back then, still only 32 years old. Um, I'd love to hear just sort of your reflections on your MMA career over the past 10 years since Tough 15 and uh, some of the areas you think you've improved most um, over those, over that course of time. Yeah. I feel like I, I'm just more experienced nowadays, you know, and that comes with, you know, 10 plus fights, UFC going, you know, fights now in Bellator. I just, I, I've been just more seasoned and, uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm gotten better everywhere ground uh, on the feet. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. You know, a lot of ups, a lot of downs in this game, but, uh, th that's what a boss does, man. You keep pushing forward, you keep overcoming that adversity. So, I'm, I'm just more harder as a, as a man, as a fighter, and uh, compared to where I was. I mean, I was just a kid back on the Ultimate Fighter, you know. Just I didn't know nothing about nothing. I just was hungry and uh, and worked hard, and that, that got me to where I, you know, where I was. And now it's just working smart, working hard, racking up that experience, and uh, just being the best I can be. Fair enough. Good deal. Um, I know – that you have a YouTube channel of your own. Um, 
I don't know how many people know about that. You have about 31,000 followers. Um, I know you talk about MMA a lot on there and about your specific career, about the financial and business aspect of the UFC, but you also talk about investing and real estate investing. Talk to me about um, how long you've been interested in that and um, yeah, sort of what you've got going on with that as well. Yeah, real estate came around, man, because, uh, you know, being a broke fighter and, you know, I, I didn't, I, I haven't, I didn't get an inheritance. I don't, I don't uh, you know, I didn't sign an NFL contract. I, uh, you know, I, I started from, from nothing, man. So, you know, living in cars, sleeping on couches, I just knew I wanted more and, and I had to figure stuff out financially. And I always knew I would make money, you know, cause I was headed UFC. I was headed to be the best. So I, uh, I just kind of always trying to learn, educate myself. And once I made it to the UFC, I, uh, <clears throat> I, I made money and I chose real estate. Uh, I just felt like it's, uh, I understood it a little bit. I felt like I always liked the game of Monopoly and it, it worst case scenario, I always had a house I, I could fall back on live in, but it kind of just started with that. And I just kept doing it over and over again and just becoming financially free with it. So uh, to me, it's like a balance, right? I mean, I train all the time. Fighting can really, really consume you, especially when you're, have fights coming up. So I just felt like it, it's, it's good. It gets my mind off of fighting enough to where I'm like, okay, I'm a little bit, you know, motivated, hungry, you know, uh, replenished. And now let's go back, train a little bit. And so it, for me, it's a good balance. It helps get my, my mind off, off of it. Some people like, uh, you know, golfing. Some people like doing drugs. Some people, everybody's got their own little thing. But to me, just, you know, investing real estate, it, it's fun for me. And I know that your uh, former opponent on Tough 15 ally, Quinn, is well known for his uh, real estate businesses and stuff like that. Have you talked with him about any real estate stuff at all? You keep in contact with him about anything like that? I have not, man. I haven't talked to Alan a little bit, uh, but I'm sure, you know, once I run into him, you know, chop it up and, and see what's going on. I, I know he, uh, he he's in kind of like the realtor realm when it comes to the real estate, Uh but it seems to me like he's it's, it's doing good for him, man. And I'm happy for him because, you know, he's to, to me, man, in this game, it's it's about being doing what you want. You know, to me, that's what a, what a boss does. They do what they want. And, and Al's kind of proven, like, look, I don't need to be in the UFC. I don't need to compete like I, I can make money, be happy doing other things. So uh, for him to find real estate with that, it, it's cool to see. Good deal. Um, going back to. Alliance MMA a little bit. Um, I know that, like I mentioned, there's a lot of big name fighters there. Um, I mentioned Lockmane and Cruz and Stevens. I know Panay and um, Angela Hill train there some as well. Um, who are some fighters that the fans may not know as much about that we will be knowing about soon enough, you think? I uh, mean, you know, there's nobody crazy in particular. You know, we, we're working on building up a uh, uh, you know, that the, the younger generation of fighters, but, uh, th there's no like one person that's ready to break out right now. You know, there's a bunch of people in there working hard, working on their craft and, and, and starting small and building their way up. So they, they can be one day ready to just, you know, take off. There you go. Um, I, uh, really wish you luck in the rest of rest of your career. I wish you luck in your fight against Sydney next week. Um, is there any closing thoughts, anything you want to shout out or anything like that before uh, we call it a day? Oh, man, I appreciate it. And just uh, you guys enjoy the show. It'll be on Showtime.